everyone and welcome back to the world tour I've had a very productive and what I would consider successful transfer window uh, so we'll go through that very very shortly and we've also got um, two matches to start the season against what were relegation rivals last season let's hope for a really good start to this year <laughs> So, first things first, I think we need to go through the transfer window. Uh, as I said, I feel like it's been quite a successful one. Uh, we've done a lot of business. I've made two massive big money signings. Uh, <laughs> big money in terms of Albania. I've actually spent some money. Um, it, we've got... I'm, I'm actually below my wage budget, and I'll show you why soon. But um, as bank balance is looking quite healthy, which is nice and uh, promising for us, I'm hoping for a successful season this year. Like I said, we've got uh, Kukesi and Love Tatari to start the season, who were both battling the relegation uh, scrap with us last season. Although Love Tatari have begun with a win, but we shall see. Hopefully, we can do that as well. Um, transfers, right? So busy. <laughs> I have spent two thousand eight hundred pounds. But I have made £48,000, which I consider very, very successful. Um, let's have a look at the outgoings first. So I've let Fabian Begja, he's gone to um, them for free. Can't pronounce that name. Uh, Basit Abdul Khalid's gone to Apollonia Fier. Now, this is a big one. Um, Andy Rebadge, he was one of my uh, strikers last season. Got a little bit unhappy he weren't getting first team football, but um, I put him in. Did quite well for a little while. Wasn't exactly prolific. He managed three goals in 18. So when these came in with a bid that's like 50 grand, uh, got him off my wage bill a bit. So I let him go. And uh, Agien Jaffa has also gone for 10k. Um, he, he wasn't going to get in my team. Central midfielder, and he weren't as good as the guys I already had. So I let him go as well. Uh, we've also let a few leave on uh, free transfers at the end of their contracts. Nobody... Major really, Oxer and Hidia both retired, so they were probably the only first teamers that have gone. Todorovsky were out on loan, so that freed up some uh, some of the wages. So let's start with the incomings. We have brought in Tome Kitanovsky from Kukese. Um He's, as you can see, very versatile. <laughs> I've signed him as a left back. Um, he's very good ratings. I don't pay too much attention to these star ratings. I had this conversation with uh, old lady players on Twitter. Uh, yes, it's yesterday in the real world, uh, and the the I mean, the, you can use them as a basic guide, but th this is a my coach report of him. I could get four four to five different coaches to look at this guy, and they'd all rate him differently. So I'm just going purely off of. Um, his attributes basically and he's got a lot of double figures here for me at this level that's a lot of good numbers um, he's gonna play well at full back and he can cover quite a lot if we need him to and it cost me nothing so he played 17 times with Kukese last season so he's played at this level I know they were battling relegation but I feel he could fit into the team nicely next one was Kevi Bardi who was coming from Lachi, another team that were fighting the bottom um, spots with us. He's more cover, um, he's not quite up to speed yet. He's only 24, he didn't cost me anything. He's yet to score a career goal, so he's, he's not prolific, but I brought him in just as um, squad bulk, really, some a bit of um, depth. Uh, this is the big money signing, Dionys Dionys Musaku from Lushnia who are actually a lower league Albanian team but he's is mainly an attacking mid I actually signed him um, January and the deal was due to go through when we were playing with an attacking mid so I actually don't really need him now probably going to list him for loan so that's two grand we've probably blown out of window but never mind uh, Deshaun Beckford has come in from Montego Bay United this guy is going to be my first choice striker. Look at them numbers. He's 22. Uh, he is Jamaican, so he counts towards my uh, foreign cap. But he's got some tremendous numbers here. His physicals are looking good. Uh, he can dribble. He can finish. 
Um, he's got a bit of leadership. He's very determined. I think he's going to be definitely one to watch this season. He's already valued at thirty grand. I paid seven hundred and fifty pounds for him from uh, a Jamaican team. So I think even we can even make a profit on him. Um, next we got Massimiliano Doda. He's nineteen. He's a young, very high potential right back. I've not brought him in to start him. I've brought him in as uh, a backup. He's going to be a fringe player, get some cup games, hopefully develop him. He's not far from first team level, so he can play as well. Uh, obviously, Chris Yu is my first choice, but Doda, when he's he's actually on my bench, so he's gonna he's gonna get some games. Then we had. Um, Etonia Alleg. We we had issues with goalkeepers last season, so obviously Hibi 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 is retired, so I need a new keeper. Um, and who else were it? Um, I let a guy leave. Rex Hepage. He's um, he's gone as well. So uh, that was down to like no keepers. So Etonia Alleg has come in. Looks like a decent keeper to me. Um, his jumping reach has slightly declined, but that's a big green number. We don't get a lot of players with big green numbers at this level. He was playing for Sleema Wanderers last season um, in Malta. He's only conceded 24 in 26, 8 clean sheets. So, got high hopes for him. He's played in Serie A at Juventus. He hasn't. He's been there. He's played in Serie B for Perugia. So, he's got some... Uh, some What's the word I'm looking for? Some um, high-profile teams on his CV. 190 quid a week. Why not? So he's, he's six foot five as well. He's, he's my first choice keeper this season. Then we've brought in Bedri Greca as a central midfielder. Again, another freebie. He was playing for Gilani in Kosovo, but he's played at uh, Tirana previously. In um, well, he's been at Kukhesi as well, so he knows the Albanian leagues. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Again, very determined, lots of really good numbers. Uh, his physicals are a little bit lacking, but um, some good numbers there. So he's going to be um, one of the central midfielders that's going to be playing for us regularly. I've also brought in Lorenc Trashy. He's um, a new right winger. Very, very highly rated. Got some very good physical numbers. Uh, yet another freebie, 80 grand, playing for Partizani Tirana last season. Um, playing regularly as well, who as you knew for a while, were actually pushing for the title. It weren't until late on that they dropped out of that top spot. So he's got some good calibre behind him. Um, he's going to be playing at that right midfield place. Then we brought in Dorian Kirchiku. Um, he's another central midfielder. Again, some good numbers, good physicals, another freebie, another player for KF Tirana, so knows the league, Plays for a, played at a high level. He can do a job for us. Uh, Ledion Mukaj has come in as a DM. Um, I had some issues with defensive midfield last season. I didn't have a lot of cover. So I've, I've brought him in um, as cover for that position. He was playing in Kosovo, but he has played in uh, Albania before. So again, knows the leagues. Uh, numbers are fairly average, but what can you expect at this level? Now this, for me, is my signing of the season. This kid is 18. Um is a centre back. He's not quite there yet, but I think if I play him regularly, he's gonna turn into a quite quite an impressive player. Um, he's got good potential. He's not played in uh, Albania before, and he's only made six career appearances. But at 18, the board did want me to sign players under 23 for the first team, and I think this guy could cut it. So he's gonna be starting a few games early on and see how he gets on. And then the last one is another goalkeeper. As I said, I lost two, so I brought in two more. He's going to be my backup for Ekizhaj. I need to start signing players with names I can pronounce. He's not greatly highly rated, but he's not cost me anything, so he can sit on the bench and not really hurt anything. So my first team will look like this. Um, Preferably, obviously, Shkala will drop into that centre-back place in the place of a Rappi. Um, but apart from that, this is going to be my main my main team. One thing you may notice is uh, Villa's dropped. And that's because Trashy is a much better right-winger. Dosti has kept his place, but a lot of the team has changed. 
So moving into this first game with a brand new team could be quite interesting. It's definitely a good one to see how we um, how we start the season. Hoping for a win, fingers across for a win. They're a team that we know struggled last season, but so are we. So we're kind of on a level with them, or we were last year. Hopefully, with the signings we've made, we can uh, we can kick on this year. The the media's predicted us to finish fourth. I think uh, a top four finish would be wonderful. Potential uh, Europa League spot. Maybe look at another job next season. We'll see how we get on. Partizan and Tirana have started off quite well. This game has started off a bit drab. There's been one shot. Well, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> Hoxhash. Why do I know that name? I don't know. Must have just been somebody that I saw there last season. Alright, so... First game of the season, first half, zero highlights. Good start, lads. At least we're not losing. Here we go. We've got an highlight. Trashy. Mm, a nice attempt to ball. Kachiku. Great ball. Beckford on his debut. Oh, it's been disallowed. That was wonderful. Ball over top. Dropped onto the volley. It's a shame he was slightly offside, but... It's a, it's a positive. Trashy. Kirchiku. Arapi. Come on, lads. I'm feeling positive this season. I think we can have a good season. Dost is taking on his men again. Great ball. Beckford's in again. It's a good save, though. Beckford actually might look like he's quite sharp. Um, he might have been a really good signing. Especially for the money. Oh, Grekers over the bar. We're having it now. <laughs> we spent the first half just... So to settling in, getting his feelers out, but we're going for it now. Another good ball. Beckford's gone down. Dosti's tried to pick it up. There's Musha, Muka, Mukaj, Arapi, Dosti, Beckford. What a goal! Oh no, he's not gone in! Oh, I, thought that, I saw the net rattle. Oh, no way. Is it crossbar? Beckford's looking on. He's looking really sharp. Grizu. Get it into the box. Grechiku, Mukaj, Krizu, Greca, Dosti, is he offside? I'm not celebrating yet. Nope, there we go. Dosti's opened his, opened his account this season, first goal of the season. I'm, I'm very, very happy I kept hold of him. He was probably one of our best players last season. And with the team around him that I've built, I think he's going to go on to do even better this year. So... Greca's having a really good game, but he's getting tired, so Ronnie Gashi can come on. In fact, no. Let's bring on Jürgen Bardi, because he was one of my signings last season. Um, I don't know how Beckford's only playing a 6.6. .6. He's looking looking quite sharp. My young 18-year-old's having a good game as well, so I'll, I'll leave him along a bit longer. My speech just broke up completely then. Into that injury time. Good win. 1 0, but we've looked we looked quite sharp. Beckford's looking looking good. He scored offside and he rattled the crossbar, which I thought had gone in because I saw the net wobble, but I think it's um look Oh yeah, while I was uh, while I was in the transfer window. One of the guys I follow on Twitter, um, Oblique Kit Gaming, go and check him out, great videos. Um, he's been doing his community league, and I got thinking, I wonder what my team would be. Um, so I, I, I was looking through, and uh, I noticed this guy's on transfer list. 39.5 million. Jan Oblak is on the transfer list for 39.5 million. I'm very surprised PSG are the only team that's in for him. I mean, he's a world class goalkeeper for that money as well. I wish I had a little bit more because I think he could probably do a job in Albania. But, never mind. I just don't have that cash. <laughs> maybe, maybe if later down the line when he's like 40 and we're at a higher club. So a good start. Let's see if we can uh, kick on in game number two.
Right, match one went well. Let's see what match two goes like. Um, Luftitari obviously started off with a win just like we did. So there's, well, look, no draws. Five wins, five losses. It's a good even spread that. I think you should cut the league in half and let us finish in top five. <laughs> uh, I do apologise if you can hear drilling in the background. I've got some guys outside digging up the road right outside my house. So that might cause a bit of disruption. Um, I wanted to do a little bit more squad rotation this season as well because obviously I've got a bit of depth now so I don't really want to risk anyone that's not 100% fit so I'm going to give um, Greca a rest he played well in the previous game but anybody below 90% I'm just going to rest them and I think I'm going to keep that as my philosophy for this season it gives people games and uh, it reduces the chances of injuries and stuff so uh, I don't really want to upset people's form, but it's a squad game at the end of the day. I don't want to end up in a, a position where I've run out of players. Love to tidy, you've got an injury early on. I don't know if that's significant or not, but uh, they're having the first highlight. Well defended. It's coming back though. Come on, lads. Oh dear, Chris, you oh, he's not getting booked, that's alright then. I had uh, a little bit of a funny feeling he might have been getting himself sent off there. But never mind, we're all good. It's just them getting booked at the minute. Come on, lads, first home game of the season. Hawks has just scored for Coach here again. I don't know actually who came up this season. I think Castriotti and you. We've not had a great first half again. The Castriotti look new, and Apollonia fear. They must be the two that's come up. Hmm. We're not doing a great deal here, lads. Come on, we can do better than this. We're at home. We are not. We've not had a highlight. Hmm. Need to make some changes, I think. Need to do something. Come on, lads. This has been a really dull game. Uh oh. Get it out. Oh, for fuck's sake. We probably deserved that. <laughs> oh well, I'm not going to get too disheartened. A win and a loss. It's not a terrible start to the season. I mean, it could have gone better, but we just weren't. We didn't turn up to that game at all. Um, right, let's have a look at this schedule. I think what I'll do is I'll crack on a few games. We'll come back for uh, KF Tirana and Castriotti in the next episode, so we'll get through uh, to back end of September. And then the episode after we'll probably get into this cup game. I don't know why there's two dates for the second round. Is this that balmy thing like last season where we had a yeah two legs, but we went to penalties for some reason. So that'll be the two legs. I would probably end up doing that one in one episode and then that in another episode. But we shall see. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed, please do leave a like down below. It supports the channel greatly and gets uh, the video more views. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And turn on your notifications to keep up to date with my FM20 content. Catch you in the next episode.